Hello everyone, my name is Riley. And my name is Carrie. And we worked on the bar bargains project this semester for our capstone. I will let Carrie start off the presentation. So bargains can be summed up as a social media marketplace. It's a place where businesses could promote themselves uh, by posting deals, coupons, and promos. And then users can find these great deals and then post and share about the businesses that they like the most. The more you use the site, a user will work their way up in a leveling system to become what is called an influencer that businesses can then seek out to better promote themselves. So why bargains? Well, it gives businesses a place where they can make posts to inform their customers and get more exposure as well as offer great deals all in one place. It also gives customers a way to increase their social media presence to potentially be able to work with the business that they would want to support. Using this site I think gives customers the confidence in which deals they participate in and which businesses they decide to support since they can see what other their users think of the businesses just by using the site. And then do some work on the UI to make it look like a social media site. And by the end of the semester, our sponsors wanted a working prototype. So Drupal is an open source content management system. It was chosen by our sponsors since it's an easy way to create a clean and functional website and it gives many modules that developers are able to use and has a large community that's generally willing to help. So we had a total of six sprints throughout the semester. Sprint one focused on researching how to use Drupal and looking into some of the potential modules we would want to use. Sprint two, we worked on setting up a private messaging system and then creating user relationships such as followers and following. Sprint three, we created a profile page and activity feed and created a way to post. This also continued into sprint four along with creating login and registration pages. Sprint five, we created the marketplace and began working on a point system for influencers and then made some UI changes that our sponsors wanted. And then we finished out the semester in sprint six with continued work on the marketplace and the point system. So we had six major user stories that we completed this semester. We created a follow me button where users can follow each other and then you can see a list of your followers and a list of who you follow. We have a button that we can create a post where you can add a location, text, an image, and you're able to tag people. We created an activity feed where you can see your own posts and the posts of people you follow. And then from here, you can also like or dislike posts and and comment on them. We created separate registration pages for regular, regular users and business users so that we could get different information from each type of user, like getting an address for a business but only a city for a regular user. And then on these registration pages, we added a place to create your password, which originally you had to do in, a, in your edit my account page the first time you logged in. And then we also send out a welcome slash confirmation email. And then finally, we created a marketplace where businesses can post a promo that includes a picture and a price. Uh, users are able to view all of the active promos on the promos page, and businesses can view all of their own active and future promos on the My Promos page. We became blocked while working on the private messaging system. All of the trusted modules that uh, provided a messaging system of some sort were either for Drupal 7, but we were on Drupal 8, or they had bugs that were still not resolved. We did come up with a solution that involves a live chat, but there's no way to see any previous messages. So if you're 
for messaging a user and you log off, those messages won't show up the next time you log back on. We started two user stories that we were not able to finish. We were able to set start and end dates for promos. So then users can only see the active promos on the promo page and businesses can see their own current and future promos on the My Promos page. Uh, we have a limit option started, but the module is not fully updated to Drupal 8, so we were not able to fully get that implemented as they wanted to be able to control how exclusive a deal would be. The second user story that we started was the leveling system. Right now, users are able to gain points for completing certain actions, and we have a threshold for when a user becomes an influencer and would gain some extra permissions, but there are no other levels set up, so that would still need to be implemented. We have two user stories that were in our backlog that we didn't get started. We weren't able to create a way for users to store deals that they can then go back later and use and we we did not add the ability to live stream and now here is riley with a demo of what we did on the bargains website thank you Kerry. okay this is the page for the activity feed one of the major components of bargains and a social media site in general on the left, we have a find users button. This is your search bar. This is where a user can find other users. They can find influencers and also other business users. And you can also follow people on here. I will and unfollow people as well. And I will just show you how we can do that. As you see, their username appears, their name, and then the, uh, their profile picture. You can unfollow them from here and you can also refollow them as well. Below that we have the point system. So a user will earn points when they comment on a post, when they create a post, uh, when they also re-log in, and also when they register an account on bargains. Below that we have the followers. This will show your current followers and who is following you. This shows their username and also their regular name as well. Then we have a following. This shows who you are following. And again, this shows their username and their name as well. Below that, we have a create a post feature. Go into here. This is where you can create post and content to post your activity feed. I will create a post really quick. So you have to put in a location for it, you can you don't have to, but you can pick an image if you would like. And then you can add a little bit to the body. There also is functionality to add a video to this. And then in this, it shows the likes and dislikes that you've had in the past. This is currently a new post, so we don't have any likes and dislikes. And then you can also uh, tag friends as well. And then we should see this on our activity feed. And then it brings you to the post itself in full. And as you can see on the left, that we gain 20 points for creating a post. And then on the right, we have our cart. This is where promos go when you add them to your cart and then you're able to check out and actually purchase these promos. We also have a search by title. This is where you can search for promos by title and then a little promo feed on the bottom for current and new promos as well. And here, if we search for, we just get the NDSU promo. And then we can also add this promo to our cart. And then let's take a look at our cart. And so here it'll show the promos in your cart. And then this is where you can go 
and purchase these promos. Here, you can remove the promos. You can add a new quantity to the promos, update your cart, and also check out. Here is where you can put in your uh, payment information. Currently, we do have it linked to PayPal, but it's just a sandbox, so there is no credit card information or information like that to put in. But you can edit your information as well. Put in the state, name, last name, address, city, and then this is where you put in your card information as well. Then you can save it to your address book. Continue to review. And then this will show you your contact information. And then here is where you would actually purchase the promos. Now, if we go back to the activity feed, in the middle, we have our activity feed. This is where you can see your posts and also see the posts of people that you follow. Here you can currently see the posts that I made earlier. And then if we scroll down, you can like, dislike, you can also read more. This will bring you to the full post and you can comment from there. But here you can also see that I can see posts of people that I follow. So if we click on the post itself, we can see comments, we can edit our own comments, reply to our comments, and delete our own comments as well. And I can also add a comment as well. All right. And then as you can see on the left, we added five points because we commented on a post. And here you can also share the post to different social media sites. This currently copies the link and shares it to those sites to get more exposure for the website. And then if we go over here and we search for somebody to follow or unfollow, we can also see that if we unfollow somebody, we will not see their posts anymore because we are not following them. If we go back to the activity feed. As you can see, we do not see any more of Carrie's posts. We can only see my post as I am the only other person that has posted that I follow. Now, if we go on to the promos page, this is where any promos will appear. This is similar to the feed that we have on the right. You can also search for promos here as well. And this is where you can apply the uh, promos and add them to your cart. And then you have the cart right here, and this will act the same as the cart that was on the right. Now we also have an ad promo page. This page will only be visible to business users. And since I am an admin, I am also a business user. And here you can add a title. So we will go ahead and add a title. Let's use a file or a picture. And then you also need to add a price to it. You can always say in stock and later we will see how we can adjust the stock of the promo. And then here you can set a start date. It currently goes to today. You can set an end date or you don't have to set an end date, but we can go in and do an end date. And then this promo will only run for two days and it will actually disappear from the site after that. Now, if we save the promo, we can see the promo here. And then this is where we can also go back in and edit the promo, change things like the price, when it starts, when it ends. Then here we can also adjust the stock of the promo as well. and the promo has been saved and with a new stop. Now, if we go over onto my promos, we will be able to see all the promos that I have posted. Currently, I have two promos, and you can see that the last promo that I just created is actually on here, 
and you can add it to your cart as well. And here's where you can also click in and edit your promo again. So a business can find all their promos and edit any promo that they want to. Then we can move on to the cart page, which is similar to the cart right over here. You can add, this is where all your promos come to. You can remove and you can uh, change the quantity of the promos, update your cart, check out. That's where you would enter in all your information and check out your cart. We also have a contact page on here. This will send a email to the admin users and it currently autofills with your name and your email address. You can add a subject and a message to this, send yourself a copy and then send or preview the message before you sent it. And then we have a My Account page. This is your profile page. It is currently not working. We will touch on this in a little bit. I have a mock-up of it. We're going to talk about it more in the issues. Now, if we log out, we will be rerouted to the registration page. And so from here, we can log in. And this is where you enter in your username and your password if you've already created an account. We can also register an account. You can register a user account or a business account. So if you click on user account, it will ask for your email address, your username, password. You can enter in a name, picture, and then your city as well. And then you click create a new account. And then if we want to become a business, register as a business account. We enter in our name, username, password, but there's a few more options for us. We enter in our business name, address, phone number, contact name, and then we can also do picture and a little business description. And then we can also create a new account. And then we also have a forgot password functionality. This you type in your username and your email address, and then you get instructions sent to your email on how to recover your password. And so since we saw that all from the admin perspective, we just wanted to show you a quick view from just a regular user. Okay, here we have the view from a regular user. As you can see in the top right, they do not have an add promos button, but they do have a promos page where they can view all the promos that are out on the site. They have an activity feed of people that they follow and their own follows their own posts. They can view their followers, create posts, add promos to their card and then they will check out when that time comes now that we've shown you a little demo i will move on to the powerpoint for a mock-up of our profile page so here in the picture to the right we have a mock-up of our profile page in the top you will have the bargains logo you'll have that same nav bar with all the permissions you have if you are a business user, you will be able to add a promo. If you aren't, you will not have that, be able to add a promo. And then on the left, we have that same sidebar where you can search for users. You can see your, who you're following, all your followers, and you can also create a post. And then on the right, we have the cart. You can search for promos and then a little promo feed. In the top middle, this is where your information will be displayed. This will be things that you put into when you registered your account, like your name, your picture, your account. Then we also have a picture of the user and then under that there will be a follow link. This is where you can follow that user when you click on it. And then in the middle to the bottom, we have the my post feed. This is a feed of just your post that you have posted. This will be very similar to the account page just without your followers posts. But in the top left, you can also see my orders. This is where any order that you have purchased, you can go there and view it as well. And then there's also an edit profile information. This is where you can edit things like your name, your password, and any other information that you have added to the site. And then now we can move on to the issues. So, Learning, uh, the learning curve for Drupal was quite steep. We, neither me nor Carrie had used a CMS before. And so we, it took us a while to get used to it. 
we had to research the existing modules that were on the site and we had to research any future modules and kind of how to use them. So it took us a while to get used to Drupal. Also, we had that issue that we talked about earlier with the messaging where it's only a live chat and there is no private feed that you can look back and see previous messages that you have sent to a user. And then as we talked about earlier, the My Account page currently is not working. It just times out and you cannot view it. That is something that we would like to get fixed and then it would kind of complete the social media atmosphere of the site. We also had a little issue with the home page. There was a navigation to a home page that we could not find and that we could not really change or delete from the website. This is something with the core of Drupal where a website needs a home page, but we did not know how to add things to the home page or change it. We also had some issues with Composer. Composer was used to download the commerce site. It took us a little while to get that installed and to be able to use it. We also had a few errors being thrown at us. The number pattern entity type needed to be installed, but we couldn't figure out how to install that. We do believe that it had a correlation with the entity module update because we couldn't get that updated. And we think if we could have updated that, we could have fixed the number pattern entity issue. Also, we had functionality for sharing a post on the site, but when you would share it to your activity feed, it wouldn't give the user credit who made the original post and we didn't think like that would be fair. Now we can move on to how we dealt with the issues. So we, when any issue came up, we would work on, try to work on other user stories if we could not do anything about that issue. We also wanted to make our sponsors aware of the issue as soon as possible. This is so they could help us fix it. And a lot of times they have to go in the back end and change things or roll the system, the website back a few days. And then we could also research potential solutions or other modules to use instead of using the current module. And this would uh, make us more productive in the meantime. Now I will let Carrie talk about the future of uh, bargains and some recommendations that we have. Thanks Riley. Um, so we think we spent about 20% of our time on the activity feed and posting, about 15% on the marketplace, on the private messaging, and on the point system, about 10% on the My Account page, on the following system, and on general research throughout the semester, and probably about 5% of our time on UI changes. Uh, what we think went well was uh, uh, researching and implementing the modules. We felt that we were pretty successful in finding good modules to use and then learning how to configure them so that they do what we wanted them to do. We also thought that we were successful in learning how to use and configure the views and content pages that were provided by Drupal, which is how we ended up creating both the activity feed and the marketplace. And we also feel that after all of our work this semester, it really does look like a social media site. Uh, one thing that we would, uh, would have done differently is having some sort of version control. There were some errors where to fix them, we would have had to revert the site back a couple days, which would end up wiping out everything we had worked on. Uh, we also would have wanted to have some sort of branching system since all the changes we made on the site were all live right away. So sometimes this would cause problems since I might change something that I'm working on and it would affect what Riley was working on at the same time. So some of the next steps that would have to be taken is to first fix the home page and the My Account page. This would include adding a place for a user's saved promos. A live stream feature uh, also has to be added. Then the next steps for a private messaging system would to be uh, either wait for module updates or possibly create your own module. Uh, 
We also would suggest to look into the rules module that was installed so that the influencer levels can be defined and finished up. And then finally to finish some marketplace an update to the commerce stock module is needed. Finally, one recommendation that we have is to look into creating their own modules. So then you don't really have to rely on the Drupal community for updates and new features. Uh, we ran into problems pretty frequently when trying to find good modules. And then our final recommendation would also be also to look into options for a mobile app since most social media sites these days are on phones. All right, and then we wanted to give a big thank you to our sponsors. We could not have done it without them with this semester. We wish nothing but the best for bargains and we look forward to seeing what bargains holds in the future. Another big thank you to our teachers for helping us learn this semester and we learned a lot of valuable information when creating this project. Another thank you to everyone for watching our presentation.